Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to perform a two-way ANOVA in R. So when we're performing a, a two-way analysis of variance, um, we, know that, we should know that there are three hypotheses in use in a two-way ANOVA. I've written out the uh, null hypothesis for each of these. Uh, hypothesis number one on line six is that the means of observations grouped by one factor are the same. So there are two factors in, an, in a, in a two-way ANOVA test. So we're going to test, first of all, if, the, uh, if there's differences between in one factor. So that's hypothesis one. The second factor is tested in hypothesis two. The means of the observations grouped by the other factor are the same. And then quite often the most important thing that we're looking for in a two-way ANOVA test is, is, is there an interaction between the two factors? So the null hypothesis is that there's no interaction. Uh, the alternative will be that there is an interaction. I'm going to conduct this test at an alpha value of 0 0.05. So the data set I'm going to use in this example is an inbuilt data set in in uh, R, it's called the tooth growth data set. So we can see here that it is about the 60 guinea pigs are being used and they're being given different levels of vitamin C and also two different methods. So you can look up some information about the tooth growth inbuilt data set. So let's run this line of code and take a look at the data set. And we can see when we run it, we're there, we've got 60 records. So there are 60 guinea pigs being used here. And there's three variables. There's the length a tooth length um, um, in, in each of the guinea pigs. And then there's a supplement and a dose. So we can see that the uh, first 10 guinea pigs, let me just stretch this out to see it a bit more. The first 10 guinea pigs are being given vitamin C and a dose of 0.5. The second uh, 10 are being given a dose of vitamin C and a, a dose of 1.0 vitamin C and so on. And from line 31 on, we move and then we see that the second supplement is orange juice. OJ stands for orange juice. So we have two supplements and three different doses. To explain this a little bit better, I've drawn it up in a diagram on, uh, this is an Excel spreadsheet with the same data on it. And we can see here that we've got three separate doses of 0.5, one, and two. We've got the um, tooth growth then uh, for the vitamin C and for the orange juice. So which um, um, are we going to look and see, is there a difference between the, the supplements, which are vitamin C and orange juice? And we're also going to look to see if there's a difference between the three doses uh, of 0.5, 1 and 2.0. And then more importantly, we want to see if there's an interaction between the dose and the type of supplement. So let's go back to our code. And the first thing I want to do is I want to uh, visualize uh, my data. So I'm going to do this using the plot function. The plot function I'm going to use is uh, we need to, uh, this is a, a similar to what I'm going to do with the 2A ANOVA, so it's important that we follow along here. So len is the uh, length variable in the data set. So, and then I'm going to use the tilde symbol, which in the Windows keyboard is above the hashtag key. And then I'm going to, the two factors then are supplement plus factor and in brackets dose. Then a comma after that, and I also need to tell R what the data set is. The data set is equal to tooth growth. So I can enter there. So this hopefully now um, should show me a plot. So let's run this line of code. So we can see, if I make my plot area a little bit bigger. Okay, so this is the um, 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 box plot here for the factor of dose. And we can see that visually it looks as though there are differences between the three doses in this case here. So we'd expect to find uh, a difference uh, using uh, a two way ANOVA. So just doing this for the dose factor and we get a similar result if we do it for the supplement factor. So we can see that the means, uh, the dose of two uh, uh, is much higher than the dose of one, which in turn is much higher than the dose of 0 0.0. And we do see there's a little bit of overlap between one and two, but visually I would expect to find a difference between the doses. So let's now move on and perform our two-way ANOVA. And the way I would do this, I'm just going to use a temporary variable called two ANOVA, just to, uh, I can call this anything I want. And uh, I'm going to use the AOV function to do that. Now, if you haven't used the AOV function before, do to check out the help screen, type in the AOV name, and it will give you a description of this uh, formula, of, of this function, with some arguments and parameters and some details about the function. If you haven't used it before, always a good idea to look, look it up. Now the piece of code I'm going to put here is, is similar, not the same, but similar to what I've done for the plot. So once again, it's length is one factor, or is the measurement that we are, that we are checking out here. 
and uh, supplement, S-U-P, multiplied this time in, in the previous for the box plot, it was um, a plus sign, but here we need uh, um, a multiplication symbol, the asterisk. Uh, factor is dose again, a comma after that, and as before, indicate what the data set at data is equal to tooth growth. wider there. Now let me uh, take a quick look at this. I'm going to uh, use the uh, AOV function to store in the vector to ANOVA. Um, um, my length is the, is, the, is the measure that we're looking for and we want to compare then the supplement uh, factor and the dose factor and we're taking the data from the two growth data set. So let's run that and then we, I need to use the summary function then to summarize and display my two-way ANOVA table. So I'm going to use my vector that I've just created here. So let's um, run this. And we can see in the console that we get um, we get the output in the format of an ANOVA table. Now there's a lot of information in here, um, so you should by now uh, be aware of how, what an ANOVA 2 ANOVA table looks like. Uh, we can see for the supplement, let's take a look, Are, is there a difference between the um, two supplements, vitamin C and orange juice? We can see that we have quite a high F value of 15.57 here. And we've got a very, very low p-value, it's 0 0.000231. And we can see with the three asterisks that this is significant um, at the, um, a 0 0.001 level. So we have found a difference between the two supplements. There is a difference between the means of uh, vitamin C and orange juice. Moving on to the second line. Again, we've got a very high F statistic here of 92.00. We've got a tiny uh, p-value, it's less than 2 um, uh, 10 to the power of uh, minus 16. So that's a really tiny p-value. And this is also uh, a big significant difference as well. When we look back on the plot, we can see the factors presented here, that there are differences between them. And we've now shown that there is a significant difference between the three factors at a p-value less than 0 0.001. And then finally then, the interaction, the one that we're main one that we're looking for, we can see we've got a much smaller um, F value, F statistic here of 4.107. We have got a p value of 0 0.0218. So at the uh, alpha value that we set initially, we uh, cannot reject a null hypothesis here because um, uh, we can reject a null hypothesis at that value, sorry. Uh, 0 0.02 is less than 0 0.05, of course. So we have found we can reject the statement that there's no interaction between the two factors in favor of the alternative hypothesis is that there is an interaction between the two factors. So looking at the, these uh, three hypotheses again, we in fact, we reject all three hypotheses. So we have found a difference between the first factor, which is the supplement. We have found a difference between the second factor, which is the dose. And we have found that there is an interaction between the two factors. So we can conclude then that the um, um, dose effect on tooth growth is dependent on the supplement. And we can also see that the supplement effect uh, on tooth growth is dependent um, on the dose. So that's how you perform a two-way ANOVA in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.